Welcome back to Fabtech 2015. I'm Norman Haddad from Lincoln Electric. I'm here with Joe Daniel, manager of software solutions at Lincoln Electric. We're going to talk about the weld sequencer today, correct? That's right. All right, Joe, tell us a little bit about it and uh, I'll let you take the floor. All right. So this is our weld sequencer application. This is what we use to train operators how to produce parts. So typically you'll have work instructions that would tell an operator how to make a part, how to produce the welds, and then later we would verify if the part is made correctly. This will do all of that for us automatically. So what Brian's going to do is he's going to scan a barcode to tell us what part we're running, and then it's going to start progressing through how that part is produced. Now what you'll see on the first couple of steps here are a couple of assembly steps. So we're not yet welding. The power source is disabled and I can't begin welding until I finish these assembly steps. As he produces or as he finishes those steps, we're going to automatically tell the power source what welding procedure to use. We're going to show the operator what weld to make and then when that weld is finished, we're going to verify that the weld's made correctly. So at this point, he didn't have to tell the sequencer to move on to the next step. It automatically recognized that was made completely according to our specifications, and then it shows him the next weld. Now what you'll see after this weld is that instead of doing a tack weld, we're going to do a longer weld on the side of the part. So automatically, the power source is going to have a different welding procedure now for this application, and the verification method is also going to change. He's not doing anything other than doing the weld. That's right. It automatically happens. And as we verify that the welds are made correctly, the border is staying green because he hasn't created any errors. All this, that information is also collected in Checkpoint, so we can see all of the information of how this specific part has been produced. And then as he finishes that, that complete record is what we'll use to help improve our quality systems and to focus our inspection efforts. Instead of inspecting 100% of our parts, we can now inspect just the parts that have sequence errors. We can focus our attention on those individual items. And now you have the completed part. And what is the, what is the advantage again of using this weld sequencer for these parts? Okay. So there's a big advantage on these kind of parts when we talk about training. Typically, when we look at training an operator, teaching them how to make a part like this, we see really two primary methods in the industry. Using an expert, where an expert would simply go to that operator, the new operator, and show them, this is how you make the part. Another method would be with paper work instructions. I have a work instruction written down, and I look at each step. Both of those methods are not very efficient. When we compare those methods to the weld sequencer, we see a 20% reduction in training time and about a 40% reduction in cost. It's a larger reduction in cost because now I have a single operator doing a single job instead of the expert method where I essentially am paying two people to do that training exercise. So it's a very big improvement on training. And on the quality side, again, with that, all that information, how we're producing individual parts instead of just an individual weld, we can use that information to focus our inspection efforts. Outstanding. Joe, thank you for taking the time a little bit to tell us a little bit about this. Uh, again, if you have any questions, go to LincolnElectric.com. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the power source now with Elliot Ash. We'll be back in just a second.